In this video, I'm going to talk about density and I'm going to explain seven examples from simple to more difficult questions. Here is the first example. It says a 36.45 gram sample of metal has a volume of 9.26 milliliter. What is the density of that? Density is equal to the mass over volume. In this example, we want to find density. The mass for that sample is 36.45 gram and the volume is 9.26 milliliter. The answer is equal to 3.94 gram per milliliter. So density is equal to 3.94 gram per milliliter. This means one milliliter of this object has 3.94 gram. Gram per milliliter is most common unit for density, but there is another unit, kilogram per cubic meter. Here is a second example. Determine the volume of an object that has a mass of 79.1 gram. So M is 79.1 gram and density is equals to 4.2 gram cubic centimeter so equation is d is equals to m over v we would like to find volume so we can cross multiplying this equation then we have m is equals to d times v and if we divide both sides by density then we have another equation volume is equals to mass over density so in this case, volume is equals to 79.1 gram divided by density 4.2 gram per cubic centimeter. Gram and gram cancel and the answer will be 18.8 cubic centimeter. If we want to follow the significant figure rules, we should run this answer to two significant digits. Then we should run this to 19 cubic centimeter. I would like to bring to your attention that one cubic centimeter is equals to one milliliter. Also, cubic centimeter, sometimes we write it as a cc. So if we see any of this unit for volume or for density, they are same. Here is a third example. Determine the mass of an object that has a volume of 69.7 milliliter and a density of 5.12 gram per milliliter. Again, density is equal to mass over volume. Then if we cross multiplying this equation, mass is equal to density times volume. So density is 5.12 and volume is 69.7. The final answer is equal to 356.9 gram and due to the significant figure rules we have only three significant figure for each of these number so the final answer should have also three significant figures so i run it to 357 gram so mass is equal to 357 gram Question 4 says, if an object has a density of 2.43 gram per cubic centimeter, what is its density in unit of kilogram cubic meter? So here is how we can solve this type of question. Converting of these two units is very common in the density questions. 2.43 gram cubic centimeter. I'm going to use two different conversion factors for converting grams to kilograms and cubic centimeter to cubic meter. We know that 100 centimeter is one meter, but we have the power three, it's cubic. So the conversion factor also should have cubic. So then this centimeter, they cancel out. For next conversion factor, we need to convert gram to kilograms. And we know 1000 gram is equals to one kilogram. So I put 1000 gram here in such a way this gram unit they can cancel and one kilogram here. Then the final answer is 2.43 times 100 to power of three, it's 10 to positive six. 
and also here we have 1000 and 1000 is 10 to 3 kilogram cubic meter by simplifying these numbers the final answer is 2.43 times 10 to 3 kilogram cubic meter or 2430 kilogram per cubic meter to make it simple if we have gram per cubic centimeter or milliliter that's the same number and we want to convert it to kilogram per cubic meter we should multiply the density to 1000 but if we want to do the opposite we should divide it by 1000 here for example 5 question asks what is the mass of a cube of nickel with the length of one side equals to 21 millimeter and it's also mentioned the density of nickel is 8.9 gram per cubic centimeter so here is the information we have 8.9 gram per cubic centimeter this is a cube and in cube all sides they have same length so the volume for cube is equals to a times a times a or a cube so because we have the length we can have the volume so volume is equals to a cube and we would like to find mass for finding the volume we should pay attention to the unit for length it is 21 millimeter not centimeter so first we should convert millimeter to centimeter and we know that 10 millimeter is 1 centimeter so it will be 2.1 centimeter so the volume for this cube is 2.1 to the power of 3 which is equals to 9.26 cubic centimeter then we can find mass of the cube m is equals to density times volume density is 8.9 and volume is 9.26 and the unit between volume and density is match so mass is equals to 82.4 gram to follow significant figure rules we should run this number to two significant figures so the answer is 82 gram for example 6 determine the mass of copper ball with radius of 1.1 centimeter and density of 8.96 gram per cubic centimeter to answer this question we have this information density is equals to 8.96 gram cubic centimeter we don't have volume but we can calculate it and we want to find mass this is ball and ball is sphere the volume for a sphere is equals to 4 over 3 pi r cube so volume is equals to 4 times pi is 3.14 times r is equals to 1.1 centimeter cube the answer for volume is equals to 5.6 cubic centimeter so i put this information here 5.6 cubic centimeter then we can easily calculate the mass for this object mass is equals to density times volume which is equals to 8.96 times 5.6 so the answer is equals to 50.2 gram and if we want to follow the significant figure rules we should run this answer to two significant digits so the answer is 50 gram and here is the last example a piece of metal weighs 7.04 gram when a student places it into a graduated cylinder containing water the liquid level rises from 19.82 milliliter to 21.14 milliliter and it asks what is the density of the sample we have mass 7.04 gram then a student place this object inside a graduate cylinder the initial volume was 19.82 milliliter after adding this object in the water the water level rises to 21.14 milliliter the difference between these two volume it is equals to the volume of that object so we can easily find the volume of that object by subtracting these two number 21.14 minus 19.82 so volume is equals to 1.32 milliliter 
So right now we have mass and volume. We can easily calculate density. Density is equal to mass over volume. Mass is 7.04 gram and volume is 1.32 milliliter. So the final answer is equal to 5.33 gram per milliliter. This method for finding the volume is called indirect method. And we normally use this when we don't have a specific geometry. So we can find the volume from this method. Thank you for watching this video. For watching more video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.